In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to take a simple image and invert it. Okay, so I'm going to File, Open, and I've downloaded an image called Honiton Lace. I googled for this image, and as you can see, it's quite a lovely um, sample of lace made in Honiton, which is very appropriate for the Honiton ice cream project. I really like this because you've got some bits which are hardly drawn at all over here, and you've got other bits of the lace work which is completely finished. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is convert it to grayscale. So I'm just going to use a simple conversion this time. Layer, sorry, image, mode, grayscale. And again, we're just discarding the other colors. Okay, I'm going to adjust the levels of the image to make it more contrasting image. Image, mode, sorry, image adjust, levels. And we just use these sliders to make the image have a much more contrasting appearance. Okay, already this is beginning to look really high contrast, but we don't want to completely use all of the details of the fine lace work. Okay, I think this is a really nice balance of detail and also contrast. Okay, now if we're using this as a background image in a program like InDesign, we want to be able to change the colour of it easily. Now this is a really neat, simple trick to be able to use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is invert this so that it's not white lace on a black background, but it's black lace on a white background. So, image, adjust, invert. Okay, and now you can see that it looks actually very much like a drawing and it's a black on white. I'm just going to look at adjusting the levels again to ensure that we've got the, the right contrast in this image. Just making it a little bit darker. Okay, and that looks quite exquisite actually, it's beautiful. Okay, and this is pretty much perfect for what I need it to be for the next stage. So I'm going to save it. File, Save As, and I'm going to call it Honnet and Lace Tutorial. I'm not going to save it as a JPEG, I'm going to save it as a TIFF file. Again, that's an image type that works well in InDesign. Save. OK. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how we can use this image in InDesign and apply colour to it.